part. Okay. So hi. Hi guys. Um, I don't really know how I sound right now. I'm gonna be very honest. Um, because the meds that I'm on are um, very, very strong, which I was not prepared for. So yes, people who are wondering also, um, I normally in a situation like this, that's kind of serious. I didn't really want to use my VTuber, but all of my PNG tubers are like really goofy. <laughs> um, and that's not really a goofy topic. So I was like, uh, I might as well just use Cleo for this to explain some things. Um, I'm doing a lot better. I'm, it's, it's, it's why I'm even doing this in, in the first place. That's why I'm even doing this in the first place. Um, I'm also going to be like kind of copy pasting this and putting it on YouTube as well, because I don't know how long this is now going to affect me. So um, let's just start with the beginning, right? So I'm going to be talking about medical stuff. If you guys don't want to deal with medical stuff. <coughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, so uh, I am an AFAB person. If you guys don't know what that means, it's a sign female at birth. So I get a thing called a period every now and then. Fucking sucks. And this time, I know this might be very TMI, but I, I need to like explain the whirlwind that has been my past week because it has been awful and with how things are going i just don't see it getting any better anytime soon I'm, I'm i'm doing kind of better but i'm also in now medical limbo because i have to wait like two to three days to get lab tests done so the meds i'm on are just like i don't want to say generic meds because they're not they're oh my god they are not um but, like, I have to wait for, like, lab work and stuff like that. And not fun, not fun, ill people, chronically sick stuff. So, anyway, also, if my speech is slurred, I do apologize. I am not drunk, like I was trying to explain. These these meds, I've, I've never experienced them before. I can't even say the name of the medic of the pills I have to take. Because it is 19 characters long. Like, I, I have, like, everyone I've shared my pill bottle to, and obviously I'm not going to say that on stream, they're all like, yep, that's some, that's some strong shit. So, any, any, anyway. Um, so pretty much what's going on is I got my period, and it was an abnormally painful one, and, like, very bad. Um, I've always had bad periods, so, like, I didn't really think much of it. I'm just like, oh, this one hurts more than normal, but nothing... Nothing too weird or out of the ordinary. And another reason why I'm sharing this, because it might seem very TMI and like, oh, you don't have to share this. Just in the rare case, this happens to somebody else and they can get help. That's kind of why I'm doing this. Because I don't know, it, my experience was not not fun. So um, had my period, things were fine. I was kind of going through it, uh, you know, dealing with whatever. And then the moment my period stopped... I had this pain in like my lower back in my kidney ish area. And I thought it was a UTI because I just, I'm sadly one of those people that's prone to getting UTIs, no matter how fucking clean I, I keep my stuff down there. It just fucking happens sometimes. So I was like, okay, maybe it's a UTI, you know, I'll, I'll wait, see if it gets worse. And then I'll like make a doctor's visit to get some meds for stuff like that. Can anyone give me a rundown? If you want Minspy, I can do a TLDR um, later, uh, but uh, I'm just kind of explaining stuff. So, and if not, and you want to come back later, don't worry. I'm going to keep the VOD up, obviously. I'm going to, oh, and there's my cats. <laughs> there's my cats going crazy. So anyway, um, had some pain in my lower kidneys, but it wasn't bad. And I had this like sharp pain on my left side. It's very important. It's on my left side. And I'll explain that in a minute. Um, like whenever I laid down, but I didn't think much of it. Well, when I woke up the next day, and this is where it's not fun, um, there was blood coming from my belly button. Like from the inside. And everything on WebMD didn't fucking help me. <laughs> So I started to panic because I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I started experiencing horrible stomach pain. 
Uh, for anybody who watched the Amori thing when I was talking about my pain, that was kind of what I was dealing with. Yeah, no, ex yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Um, <laughs> why am I bleeding from my belly button? Like, what the hell does that mean? And like I said, WebMD doesn't help at all. Almost all of them just said, like, Call a doctor. So I have magical health insurance that I hate with the bane of my existence. So I tried calling someone and trying to get a hold of my doctor because I live in America and the American healthcare system is awful. And here's the problem. How does one even bleed from a belly button? Exactly. I'll get into that a little later. I, at least I think if... Again, I don't have my test results back, so I had to go off of what the doctor told me, but we're getting to that. So I called a bunch of people on the phone, and if I could actually speak to my doctor, that'd be great. I would I would love to be able to speak to my doctor, but because I live in America, you got to go through like a thousand hoops and stuff like that, and they'd rather have you with a nurse practitioner over the phone until you blah, blah, blah. So the nurse practitioner pretty much just told me to do some over-the-counter stuff because she thought... All right, get this, guys. She thought it could be indigestion. I'm not kidding. That or I'm pregnant. Took a pregnancy test. I ain't pregnant, so that's good. Um, did learn, though, you can, in fact, get your period on pregnancy, so that's a whole new fear I now have in the back of my mind, and I feel like more people should know that because I didn't know you can get your period on your while you're pregnant. I kind of thought that would, like, negates it, but, you know, whatever. Um, so... But the nurse did say that, hey, um, if it gets worse or the pain is more extreme, come on in. So we're skipping to the next day, okay? We're skipping to the next day. The day that I was supposed to have my uh, makeup art stream day, which also sucks. I know I shouldn't blame anybody for this, but I'm so mad because I'm finally... I feel like this always happens. Not this, but I finally get so close to catching up on things. And then something has to just like knock me back down the stairs. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have not been able to work on like almost anything this entire fucking week. It's not, not great. Um... But yeah, oh, I love Ken. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I know now it's not the right time, but um, yeah, I, that's what I thought, Stina. That's what I thought, but um, guess guess not. Um, anyway, still go to a doctor, but guess you can't. Anyway, any uh, God, so and Kelly cares is randomly expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna get into that, Kingly ways. I'm gonna get into that. Oh my God. So okay, so pretty much. Sorry, like I said, with these meds, it's like, it's even harder for me to focus than fucking normal. So, um, the nurse practitioner told me to take some Omniprozole. If you guys don't know what Omniprozole is, it's like an antacid thing. You can get it over the counter. Um, if you do experience heartburn, like I do, I do recommend that. Um, it's, it's kind of great, but it takes 24 hours to kick in. So the doc, the, the nurse practitioner recommended that, recommended some Neosporin for my belly button, and then just to see. So skip to the next day, right? Skip to fucking, um, wasn't Friday. It was that Thursday. Yes, that Thursday. I woke up because yesterday was Friday. See, this is what I mean. I, my brain fogs all over the place. So anyway, um, I woke up and this is where it gets freaky. Okay. I woke up and I just had one of the most excruciating sh it felt like I got stabbed but it was gone in an instant like I felt like I got stabbed right through the middle of my stomach all the way to my back and then it was gone so I panicked I looked up there was no blood I was fine and I suddenly lost all my energy and I went back to sleep when I woke up I was like oh hey I'm tired but I feel great maybe that was antacid so by the way, I told my doctor all of this. I know your pain. I get that with my stomach. Yeah. And another problem I need to emphasize for people who don't know is I deal with chronic pain all the time. So my pain tolerance is surprisingly higher than the average person's. So for me to be in a lot of pain, I should say like physically, it, it takes a lot. So anyway, um, that happened. I was kind of going out through my day, feeling kind of okay. 
And then in the middle of the night, my belly button started to bleed. The pain was gone. I need to emphasize this. This is what freaked me out. The pain was now fully gone. I had the tightness in my lower back still, but it wasn't bad. But all of a sudden in the middle of the night, I was like laying down with my husband and I like put my hand down from reading something and I felt wetness and I was like, what? And uh, my belly button was bleeding worse than before. And um, I was like, oh shit, what do I do now? And I need to emphasize this. It wasn't... <sighs> It was a lot of blood, but it wasn't a lot of blood, if that may... For people who have medical issues, you know what I'm talking about. Because when I tried describing this to, like, my family, they thought I was, like, gushing blood from my belly button. That's that's not what was happening. We weren't... Ha I wasn't having, like, cups of blood. It just, like, wouldn't stop bleeding. Exactly. So I was like, fuck, I need to go to a doctor. And so I really tried to weigh my options with my husband, because my husband was willing to take me to the hospital... But again, because of my fucking insurance, because I live in America, um, we can only go to certain ERs that would take our fucking insurance. And we were trying to find ERs that would take our insurance and within decent driving distance. I We called and it was going to be a minimum of like a seven to nine hour wait. And this is the middle of the night. So I was talking to my husband. He was like, I'll take you. Let's just go. I'm like, no, I'll just go to an urgent care in the morning. I don't know what else to do because I personally don't want to sit in the ER for hours. If you guys don't know this, um, my brother last year, the, one of my brothers that I'm really, really close to, uh, he had his appendix pretty much explode and almost died in the ER because they just wouldn't see him. Like, like he, he, like he called his doctor, went to the ER. He was there for hours. It was only getting worse. They didn't fucking see him. And it wasn't until like, I think his doctor had to call an ER doctor and he got a CAT scan and got everything done. And then like, they like just saved my brother. So like, I, I hate the ER, at least in California, maybe in a state with less people, um, it wouldn't be as bad. But like I have, I have known so many people that have gone. So I just didn't want to go to an ER. I would be very blunt. I just didn't want to go. So I, being the fucking girl boss that I was, not really. <laughs> I didn't have any other option. Um, I got in my. I woke up. I got in my car. I was still bleeding. Pain was gone, but the tightness got worse. And so I got to the hospital that had the urgent care that took my insurance. I get checked in. Um, and this is, this is, this is the fun part. The fun part I say. So if it was amazing and the hospitals are pretty great, even in the capital. Yeah. See, no, that's what I've heard from like all my friends who live in different States that aren't over impacted or live in big cities, fucking t night and day experiences. So, um, which I would love. I would I would love to be able to have. But anyway, um where's my brain? So get to the urgent care, get in. Um, you know, the lady does the little like, hey, why are you here? And I explain what's happening, and the the the, the desk clerk looked scared, which did this did not help my anxiety. I'm not even gonna lie. Like also uh, this is like, I know it's getting all over the place, but like I wore a fucking mask cause I'm going to a fucking hospital. I don't know why more people aren't wearing masks when going into a hospital, like especially where you're definitely around sick people. So anyway, like the store, the, the, the clerk was just staring at me and like called a person over and they were like, you're bleeding from your belly button. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. Um, don't, don't know what that means. That's why I'm here at a hospital because I tried calling my doctor and apparently he's booked up for like two weeks. So I can't like see a doctor at the hospital near my house. So yada, yada, yada. Um, and then they were like, okay, please fill this out. Give us all your symptoms. I gave them all my symptoms. I'm obviously not going to repeat them here. There were more than that, but they're a, a bit more graphic. So I'm not going to share them. Um, Besides, like, the tightness in my back and stuff like that. So, yeah, that all happened. Um, God, where's my brain? Um, I sit down. I call my mom. Uh, I let her know what's going on. 
because I tried I tried to be vague on social media when things like this happen because I don't want to freak people out. But once it gets serious, I like letting people know. It's like when I had my cancer scare last year, which, you know, that also wasn't fun. Mm. Thank God I don't have cancer. But, um, God, knock on wood. I swear to God. With my luck. Anyway, um, so... Talk to my mom. My mom is now panicking. I didn't mean to make my mom panic, and I was just trying to tell her so she wouldn't freak out. Um, you know, and so getting done. Um, I was very lucky. I got seen in like 30 minutes, which was great. Um, and they took my case very seriously compared to a lot of urgent cares. Like, I didn't do the like, okay, let's do your blood work and then sit back down. They're like, here's a room, we're gonna have a doctor come talk to you. And I'm like, okay, that's great. Also, fun fact. Um, I had to pay with my goddamn insurance. Okay. For the urgent care, I had to pay $89 plus tax just to be seen. That included nothing else at the urgent care at the hospital that takes my insurance. So I was, I was very pissed. Um, because you know, that's, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I love healthcare. Yeah. When like a normal visit, if I made an appointment and I waited two weeks would have been like free. But I'm sitting here like, I don't think I can wait two weeks. Any, I'm ranting. I'm ranting. Okay, so, so, I get seen. Uh, turns out my heart rate is doing great. My blood pressure is doing great. Lost 20 pounds. Yay me! Very happy about that. I've been trying to be better. So lost 20 pounds. That was a great, that was a great uh, ego boost. Um, but yeah, my blood pressure is also like really good for a bitch my size. Like, Lay's like, wow, you have really great blood pressure. And I'm like, yay, there's some news. And the same thing with the nurse. They're like, okay, so like, why are you here? You don't seem sick. And I'm like, well, and I explained everything. And, and again, this did not help my anxiety at all. The nurse was like, what? What do you mean your belly button is, is bleeding? And so I lifted up my shirt and she saw it and she was like, oh my God. And whenever a nurse says, oh my God, I'm instantly in anxiety mode. I am instantly panicked. I'm like trying to stay calm, but I was like, oh, that's not good. That's not good. And I'm trying to rationalize with myself where I'm like, okay, I bet the nurse was just like, you know, she's an, she's an urgent, I'm, this is me trying to rationalize my own stuff. It's like, she's an urgent care nurse. Maybe she's used to seeing like broken bones and sore throat and earaches and stuff like that. But yeah, so anyway, that's a panic, but no, I was, <laughs> the nurse was so nice too. It just didn't help. Um, and I could tell she was panicked because she like gave me like one of those like smocks to get naked when I didn't need to get naked. Like when the doctor came in, also very nice doctor. Um, even he was like, I don't know why she gave you that. You only need to like lift up your shirt. And I was like, that's what I thought. So like, you know, I, I didn't have to take, I didn't even have to take my shot off yeah, the last thing you want to hear is, oh my god, or oops, that's exact. yeah, exactly, exactly, um, and so the, the doctor looks at my belly button, does all this stuff, um, I won't go into details of how he got the samples, because I know some people are squeamish, and I've already been pretty detailed with this, um, all I will say was it was very invasive and very fucking painful, um, but they got a bunch of samples from inside of me, um, from other bodily fluids and a mouth swab. So the doctor, though, let me know. He was like, all right, so I think it's this. I am not going to be able to say the fucking name. It was one of those very long medical term names. And I was like, hey, what causes this? And my doctor was like, oh, it just happens. And I was like, okay, that's, that doesn't help me at all. But, um, he did let me know. He's like, hey, it is going to take a few days to get results back from the labs because the labs are backed up. Um, but he did say that he's like, yeah, yeah, it just happens. And I'm like, really? Because no one I know has ever experienced this. Fucking the med, like going on WebMD didn't fucking help. <laughs> like talking to like everyone I know pretty much about this. None of them have ever experienced it. Almost everyone was extremely concerned when, um, you know, I described what was happening to me. But yeah, so he told me, um, he's like, all right, I'm going to put you on an ointment that I have to kind of like shove into my belly button. Also not fun. That is extremely painful. Um, I need to take very careful baths. I can't use soap. I have to like just use like 
water pretty much and like keep it away from the area as much as I can. Um, it just happens as code for me to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and so, um, and he's like, you'll get the test results in a few days, but you're going to be on the 1916 letter fucking medication pill and the ointment. And I'm like, okay. Um, and he's like, and he's like, and don't worry, we'll keep you updated when your results come in. But I think it's this, and this should be why it's affecting all of this. Um, the fact that other, I'm not going to mention, but other things are okay. Um, says a lot, you know, and he is like, but if you have another like extreme period like that, you need to come in for like more testing and stuff. And I'm like, okay, fine. My period's done by the way. So like that wasn't even an issue, but yeah. So then I go and I get my meds and the pharmacist, ex this is where it's, I know I'm saying it gets wild, but here's where it gets more wild. So I go to the pharmacist, I get my meds. The pharmacist explains to me the pills I have to take. I only have to take them for five days, which is good because I think they're waiting for my test results to get back and stuff. But this pill is such a strong antibiotic that I have to drink. They told me I have to drink a minimum of a gallon of water a day. I will not have an appetite. I will not be able to drive or operate machinery um, because of the dizziness and the fatigue. And, um, what was the other one? Oh, and I can't go out in the sun because I have a sun allergy. It's going to exacerbate, exacerbate. I can't say the word. It's going to make it worse. So I, I, I'm, I'm like literally sequestered to my house for the next five days. Um, and normally, and I was what I want to bring up. Let's see. Yeah, no, whatever this pill is, it's a super pill because I've, again, I, I've been sick a lot in my life. I've been on many medications. I've gone to many doctors throughout my entire 30 years on this fucking planet. No, it's fine, Minsby. Don't worry about it. But I have never once had a pill work as fast as this fucker did. Okay. I, I got home. I ate something because I hadn't eaten all day because I, I know it's usually better. Again, <laughs> chronically ill besties. <laughs> no, it's always good to like show up on an empty stomach in case you have to take like other samples and stuff. Um, Michi, I have a question. Have you tried looking into Eastern medicine? Uh, like, what do you mean, Kingly Wave? What do you mean? Uh, explain while I finish this real quick. But I literally took the pill. I hung out with Sawyer and um, his partner. And we were watching some Peacemaker because I really wanted a comfort show. I took the pill. I kid you guys not. Oh my God. <laughs> within an hour. Within an hour. my I, I felt loopy. I was, I was like, oh, um, did the pill already kick in? Because normally, again, for more of my people that are, like, dealing with medications, it usually takes, like, a day or two to kick in. But I think the fact that they gave me, like... I got a spam whisper from a scammer. It could be. I don't I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I can't really focus too much on chat. But I was like, oh, guys, I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Um, uh, I don't feel so good. And, like, it was hard to walk. Like, I was able to walk, but I was just, I was suddenly, like, out of it. And we looked up the medication, and yeah, those were all symptoms. Those were all things. Um, and I took a fat nap. Like, a fat nap. And I will say, though, they're doing their fucking job because, like... I, I am still, sadly, I do have a little bit of bleeding. Not as bad as the other day before. But it is, like, coming and going now over being a constant, like it was the past couple days. So I think it's working. Um, the tightness in my back is lessening. Like, it's not hurting as bad. Um, I can lay on my sides now. And, oh, I brought up why it was important that it was painful on my left side and not my right side. Um, your right side's where your appendix is. And um, if it hurt on my right side, I would have to get my appendix taken out because my dad got his taken out recently and my brother got his taken out recently. So I was like, oh God, am I next? Am I going to be in the hospital next? Jesus, like, you know. Um, but it wasn't on my right side, so it wasn't my appendix. Um, but yeah. Uh, 
So that's kind of that. I've taken the meds. Um, I've been taking the meds. I take them two times a day, two times a day. But also the the no, what's in it? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's in it. I just know whatever it is is strong as fuck and it's working. Um, which is kind of this sounds shitty. All I care about. Um, the only part that really sucks is obviously the dizziness sucks. But like I'm not leaving my apartment. And thank God I have a one story apartment. Like we don't have stairs. I think I'd be like so much more nervous if I had stairs. Um, and I've been drinking my, I've been drinking my water. I have this giant like Beetlejuice cup. I know you guys can't see it, but I did the math and so did my husband. And I, I, all I have to do is take like six of these a day to make up for that gallon of water. So that's kind of what I've been doing and like writing it down. So that way I don't forget but the no appetite thing, that thing hit full force. Like I woke up today. I was, I was, I was a little loopy. I'm a little bit like I am now, but I was a lot better. Pain was gone. I was able to function. Um, the thing that sucks though, is I literally can't draw. Like I've, tr I, I don't know what it is. I think it's cause it's affecting my motor functions. Like they said it would, but every time I'm drawing, it's just not matching up with my hands. <laughs> so Yeah. Um, I mean, what was the ailment? Like, what was the cause? They don't know. They still, I still don't know. They haven't told me. They just said it happens, which, you know, is great. Um, yeah, apparently it just happens sometimes. And I was like, cool. Like, I, I would love to know what that means. But yeah, needless to say, with that, with that being said, um, I'm probably not going to stream for the rest of the week unless I feel a lot better. Um, this also really sucks. I know this is like a, a like nitpicky thing, but my husband and I, we have this really big camping trip that I've really been looking forward to the following weekend. So like on the 21st. So I, in a selfish way, I want to make sure that I'm better so I can go. We, we don't have to cancel this camping trip we've been planning for like two months. Um, you know, obviously, but here's the thing. My health comes first. I'm not going to be stupid and, and risk my health just to go camping. But the fact the meds are working and I'm, I'm seeing improvements um, is a good sign. But with that being said, I'm probably not going to be able to stream at all this week. Because like I said, I tried just work like, like drawing for myself and I couldn't do it. Like I like it, it, my hands just are not handing. So <laughs> talk speak like I can't wait. I've never seen this before. Yeah. So yeah, so that's, so, so I'm taking a break. I'm taking a rest. Um, if you guys do want to help me, I feel a little bad asking this. Um, ah, well, thank you. Thank you, Blueberry Bean. Thank you. Well, <laughs> uh, happy you like my VTuber and stuff like that. But any, anyway, um, what was I saying? Shit. So I'm going to the distractions. Uh, crap oh right if you guys do want to help me i feel bad asking this but um i do have stuff up on my shop that'll help a lot i'll be able to mail them out once i'm better i have my tip i have my patreon if you guys want to help at all you don't have to i'm fine um i'm very lucky that my twitch payment came through which and a friend helped me out a little bit so i got all my medical stuff covered it just sucks that i'm like uh, again I'm, I'm pretty much not gonna be able to work for a fucking week like at all so yeah I just want to put that out there. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> I think that's all the update. Um, I've kept my Discord updated with updates, like at least health update stuffs. So yeah. Um, trust me, Mitzpi, it's not just you. It hates like everybody at this point. But yeah, reminds me of when I was hospitalized as a teen. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun. So yeah. All right, with that, I'm going to end it here. Like I said, I was going to do a small stream just as a recap for you guys and stuff like that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sticking around. And um, hopefully I see you next week. All better and we can go back to normal because that's all I really want. I, I, I want to draw even if it's just for myself. <laughs> Thank you guys. Love you so much. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Um, let's see. It, well, I still want to share some love. Let's see. Is anybody streaming right now we can raid?
Uh, yeah, you know, let's give Ruby some love. S send Ruby love for me, guys. Let them know I'm okay. And big smooches. Mwah.